Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make cookies and cream cheesecake bars. Sounds pretty darn good, doesn't it? In my bowl, I have one pound or right about 28, I almost said oatmeal cookies, not oatmeal cookies, <laughs> Oreo cookies. <laughs> And I do not have a food processor, although that is the ideal way to turn these into crumbs. I just put them in a big Ziploc bag, used a rolling pin, rolled it out until they turned into a bunch of crumbs. So that's what we're working with today. Right here, I am melting four tablespoons of butter and it is ready. So we're gonna cut that off. And then while we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and cut the oven on to 325. We're gonna pour this melted butter into our cookie crumbs. Mix this together and then we're going to press it into the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. All right, that looks about right, so let's pour this in here. Get this spread out with the spoon and then we're going to use our fingers. Perfect. Now that we have these evenly distributed throughout the bottom of the pan, we're going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes and let that bake. While our crust is baking, we are gonna fix the filling. In my bowl, I already have three eight ounce containers of softened cream cheese, and I'm gonna add a three quarter cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna mix this for about, I don't know, a minute or two until it's very smooth. Now that we have that whipped into beautiful creaminess, we're gonna add a three quarter cup of sour cream, a little bit of vanilla, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna mix this for another 30 seconds. Now we're gonna add three eggs. We're gonna add them one at a time, mixing in between each egg. Now we're just gonna scrape around the edges, and we are going to crumble up some more Oreos, just big chunks for in our mixture. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. Y'all need this in your life, I promise. Stir. All right, our crust is ready to come out. Now we're gonna pour our mixture over our crust. I'm gonna take four more Oreos and just sprinkle them over the top. Now that we have those sprinkled over the top, this is ready to go back in the oven for right about 40 minutes. In the comments below, let me know if y'all like just plain, regular, original Oreos or if you like the crazy new different ones they come out with on occasion, let me know. Also listed below is the exact recipe with the exact ingredients and measurements. And also you can run on over to my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, that's all one word, and the recipe is gonna be listed there as well. Okay, this is ready to come out of the oven. You want it just a little bit brown around the edges and still kind of gooey in the center. Now we're gonna let this cool for about an hour and then we'll stick it in the refrigerator. I just got this out of the refrigerator and it's ideal if you can just leave it in overnight, but I cannot wait until tomorrow to try this. So we are going to give it a try. Y'all ready to try it? You wish you could try it. This is worth every single calorie that's in there. This is amazing. Another really good way to fix this recipe, you can make it in little cupcakes so that they're individualized instead of having the big pan. Either way, it's gonna taste the same and it's gonna be delicious. Make sure you give it a try. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.